Hey guys, this is Spartacus here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Spec Ops mode in Modern Warfare. We've seen so much gameplay and information about the multiplayer for Modern Warfare, but we haven't heard or seen anything about Spec Ops just quite yet. And until recently today, or actually it's been a couple days now, but I'm just making this video today, on around, I think, August 7th or August 8th, Game Informer actually did a podcast, and in that podcast, they talked a little bit about the Spec Ops mode that they were actually told by Infinity Ward and Activision, and they revealed a couple things that we actually haven't heard before in the past. Now, before I actually give out this information about Spec Ops mode, I would like to say that I guess the Gaming Revolution, there is a YouTube channel named The Gaming Revolution, I guess he actually predicted, or not predicted, but he found this information out about a month ago, and I guess a lot of people aren't really giving him credit for it, um, but then again, I don't really follow the gaming revolution like on Twitter or on YouTube or anything. I'm getting all my information from Charlie Intel, which I highly recommend you guys follow on Twitter or follow their website because they are up to date on any type of Call of Duty information. doesn't matter if it's a past Call of Duty game, if it's a new Call of Duty game, just anything to do with Call of Duty, they are up to date and on track of it. So I highly recommend following those guys. But anyway, the new information that we got about spec ops here in modern warfare is the first thing is that it's going to be a four player squads mode now this is pretty cool because in modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 2 spec ops it was only a two player so it's kind of cool to see that they expanded it a little bit and added four players which makes sense because in like the zombies mode or extinction mode those were four players so it makes sense to actually make spec ops four players this time and i'm pretty happy about that the second thing is that there are vehicles in spec ops now this may not mean a lot to anybody because if we look at spec ops in the past of course we've had vehicles whether it's like a snow vehicle or a tank we're driving or something like that something we've seen before in these previous spec ops missions but i believe spec ops is going to be a lot different this time than just playing missions and also there is going to be a ground war multiplayer map that's internally called downturn and it's actually playable in the spec ops mode so the ground war multiplayer map downturn will be playable in spec ops now what does all this mean? Like, what is Spec Ops, what is this mode going to be like compared to what we saw in, like, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2? Now, another thing I'd like to bring up now, this is huge, actually. The Spec Ops mode is actually a continuation of the campaign, which is something we haven't seen before. We've never seen, like, another mode continue off of the campaign. Usually, once you play the Call of Duty campaign, you reach the end, and that's it, right? You're done, right? The, that, you're, there's nothing else after that except like unless there's like another Call of Duty game that comes out with like the same title or whatever that continues the campaign but other than that when it comes to the same game you can't really continue the campaign after you beat it and this is the first time like ever in Call of Duty we can now continue the campaign through a different mode in this case it'll be Spec Ops now this is very interesting to me because that means we'll actually be getting DLC missions where it'll continue the campaign now I don't really know how exactly you're gonna do it like if you beat the campaign that the, like just the actual campaign like I wonder if it'll end like on a cliffhanger or something then you have to continue it in Spec Ops mode and then the final DLC for Spec Spec Ops will actually end the campaign. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. And they did actually um, admit or admit, I don't know, that sounds terrible, but they actually did announce that there will be post launch content for Spec Ops mode. So obviously, we're going to be getting DLC uh, missions and continuation of the multi, or excuse me, the campaign and all that kind of stuff. Now, here's the thing though I have a couple, I guess, um, predictions of what Spec Ops is actually going to be here in Modern Warfare. I think it's going to be a lot different than what we see in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, and I hope it is, you know, because back then, they didn't really have a lot of replayability value. Like, Modern Warfare 3 did a little bit because they added those survival missions on, or not missions, but they added, like, the survival mode in Spec Ops where you can play on a multiplayer map and survive uh, throughout how many waves as possible, right? But here in Modern Warfare, there's a couple predictions I have of what Spec Ops is going to be, and I have said this in the past, but I thought I might as well bring them up again, just in case maybe I'll get it right, you know. So, my first prediction is that part of the Spec Ops experience, we're going to have the missions that continue the campaign, right? But we're also going to have another feature, like a mode, I guess, in the Spec Ops mode, if that makes any sense. So, there's going to be another feature in Spec Ops other than the missions that's going to be very similar to Blackout, in other words, a Battle Royale mode. The reason why I say this is because when 
Game Informer actually introduced or announced that they said there's going to be vehicles in Spec Ops, that kind of got me thinking that maybe there's going to be a Battle Royale mode, and that's what they mean by vehicles, but they also said Spec Ops is a four-player squads mode, so that kind of makes me feel that if it's a four-player squads mode, then you can go up against other squads that are also playing the same Spec Ops mission or something like that. Now, that would actually be really cool if it's the same Spec Ops mission, but when they worded it as Spec Ops is a four-player squads mode, I do wonder if that means that in the Battle Royale, if it's going to be in Spec Ops, that means we're going to get four-player uh, on your team for the Battle Royale map or whatever it is, which also leads to the Ground War multiplayer map. That could potentially be a Battle Royale map that we're going to be playing on. I have no idea, but this is just a speculation. It's just my prediction, but I also have another prediction, and I actually hope it's this one other than the Battle Royale. I could care less about Battle Royale, to be honest with you, even though Battle Royale like modes and games are really fun, but th this other prediction I have honestly would be so badass. I honestly think this could really change Spec Ops. It would totally bring so much replayability value into Spec Ops, and I would love for them to see them do this. So my other prediction is that Spec Ops is going to be similar to Destiny. So what I mean by this is Destiny, just think of how Destiny is. Think of what the kind of shooter Destiny is, you know. It's kind of like an RPG, um, like loot game. I don't know. I'm trying to think. MMO shooter game. That's basically what Destiny is. It's an MMO shooter. Now, my prediction is that Spec Ops is going to be very similar to Destiny, only it's going to be Call of Duty, right? And basically, you're going to continue like the campaign through like raids or something like that, and you can keep doing these raids to unlock new weapons, maybe to progress faster and like ranking up or whatever it might be, right? And it'll be similar to Destiny, where you have like these different missions, and then you have like these main quest missions that are continuing the storyline and stuff like that. And there's like different places you can travel with vehicles. Vehicles, keep in mind because it says vehicles are in spec ops so you can use vehicles to kind of move around certain areas uh, depending where you're at I don't know I think that would be so badass if they made spec ops like a mini version of like destiny or something like that where it's an MMO version of like Call of Duty I don't know I just think that would be really cool that's another prediction I had and that's really all I have to say for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it those are the information that we got for spec ops and pretty much the only information we really have about spec Ops right now i'm really curious what this mode's going to be like because i did enjoy playing spec ops back in modern warfare 3 i love having the idea that i'm in a special operations and i'm i don't know and it's not really multiplayer not going up against other players it's just you and one other one other person playing against basically bots from like the campaign but it's, it's a, just slightly a little bit different i don't know i just thought spec ops was fun in modern warfare 3 i can't wait to see what modern warfare has to bring to us with this spec ops mode so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty videos in the future and I shall catch you guys later.